you big book, we're going to sing this song from Brother Buddy, page 44. Any time a musician is not here. I sing by letter. Anybody in here sing like I did by letter? Open mouth and let fly. My old pastor's wife, she's still living. She's 95. She used to sing this song all the time to us. But some of you heard her sing it here a few years back. Well, I went down to an old county for most to see the sun. But I got such a hearty greeting that it gave me mine. And it only turned us to preach to the cookies on the green. And when he thought it went to what the soul salvates, and you would have heard. Jesus to be first, yes. not last. I know that. Amen. 
The world would be better off. We'd all be better off. There was a time I thought that I could conquer anything. I knew it all had nothing left to try. But blinded by disaster, my world kept spinning faster. Nothing. That's right. 
Oh. He said, I tried it all. I believe Kenny Hansen wrote this song. He did. Desperation. Sometimes we got to get desperate when we fall on our face in God and call upon the Creator. Lord, I love you this morning. I married two nephews. Two close cousins and a sister-in-law this week. I buried my sister-in-law, my brother's wife. We all live on the same hill. Me and my brother, from the time I was born, we did everything together. I mean everything. You didn't see Mo without Kirby. That's how close we were. We shrimp together. We fished crawfish together. We hunted together. We went to church together. That's very few things we didn't do together. That's right. And you know, when you have fixtures in your life, yeah. and we talked about Terry this morning. Yeah. We always talk about it. I look back on that pew where she used to sit and You just miss. I miss these people. But if I don't go to heaven and be with them, what have I accomplished? What have I obtained? I want you to just get this song. Just letting you go to sleep.
We can't ever leave you. No. We gotta always have him here. And you'll become a great overcomer if you do that. Twenty years from now, you'll still be walking because he and you won't want to disappoint him because you love him. He never wants to hurt you. He wants to help you. We hurt ourselves. He does. But I love you and I just felt like saying that. Don't let the cares of this world drag you down till you see all the cares and you don't see him. It's seeing him. Seeing him. Seeing him. You look at a baby and you see him because he's in there. Babies are so sinless, so full of God. That you can't hold one that you don't see God in it. And God sees you the same way. I love you. say you're Elias, some say you're John the Baptist, some say you're Jeremiah or one of the prophets, but he looked at them and said, who do you say that I am? I want to ask you a question this morning, who and what is Jesus to you? I want that to rest upon us for a minute. Who is Jesus to you this morning? What is He to you in your life this morning? Is He your Lord? Is He your Savior? Is He your Redeemer? Or is He just a friend sometimes you just need to call on? Or is He like uh, maybe an emergency doctor that when you get in a problem you just need to call him? No. Amen. But Jesus said, Whom did ye say that I am? That's right. Amen. And Peter answered and said, Thou art Lord the Christ. Christ. Amen. The Son. Thou Lord. art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And listen what Jesus said. Simon, flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you. But my Father which is in heaven, thou art Peter and upon this rock. Not on Peter. No. no. Amen. On the revelation that he had of who Christ was. Yeah. Upon this rock I shall build yeah. my church Amen. and the gates of hell shall yeah. not prevail yeah. against it. Yeah. And then he said, I give unto you the keys of the oh, kingdom yes. Yes. of God. Uh -huh. Amen. And whatsoever ye bind on earth shall be bound yeah. in heaven. Yeah. And whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Let 
us pray, Father. I thank you this morning. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, a name that's above every name, that God gave him his glory and power and honor. That God so loved the world, he sent his son Jesus into this world to save sinners, which I was chiefest. To save a wretch like me. That God so loved me, he sent his son to die on the cross for me. That he took away my sins. He, he took away the burden and the penalty of sin. And he gave me his grace and his mercy and his great love wherewith he loved us. Father, I thank you this morning. I glorify you, Lord, this morning. Anoint these lips of clay. Hide me behind the cross. Cover me with the blood. In Jesus' name. And everybody, say amen. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 13, it says, Enter in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate. And broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Yes, sir. Amen. And many there be Amen. which go in there. Mm -hmm. I don't think a one of us in here this morning could dispute that. Oh, no. Because it seemed like, Brother Greg and I, that we live in, oh, the world is getting more violent. It is. Oh, it's yes. getting so toxic. Yes. You say, what do you mean about that? The killing, the stealing, the raping, the kidnapping. I mean, you, you don't have to go far down the road until you see the hand of sin upon this world. And it seems like sin is getting worse and worse. So we must, as Christians, Take our Christianity serious. Yes, sir. Amen. Take our walk with God serious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I got a few things wrote down here. We must make our Christian life our whole business. I know it. Your life. Our yes. lifelong Amen. pursuit Amen. and be intent upon it. Yes. Mm -hmm. That as he says over in Matthew eleven twenty eight, come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. The whole lesson of our Christian life is to learn about Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm gonna say something. You can join every church in the entire world. You can be baptized in every river, in every home, and know every tadpole by name. Yeah. Yeah. And that does not give you interest into the kingdom of God. That does not give you a right to go into heaven. John 3 and 1 says, There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews who came to Jesus by night. And he said, Master, we know thou art a teacher come from God, because no man can do the miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Amen. Verse 3, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Verse 4 says, Nicodemus said, How can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter into the womb and be born the second time? In verse 5, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man is born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And Jesus is pressing this here on the Sermon on the Mountain. He is reiterating. Yes. Enter in at the straight gate. Oh my, yes. Who is that gate? What is that gate? Jesus. John 14 and 6 says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. Mohammed is not the way. No, of course not. Amen. Hinduism is not the way. Preach on, Muslims 
euphemism is not the way. Jesus is the way and the only way. The gate, the straight gate, the narrow way into the kingdom of God. Yes, there are but two ways. Right and wrong, good and evil, the way to heaven, the way to hell. We don't like to talk about hell no more. Oh my, that's right. That's right, huh? Glory. Because most of the preachers don't believe in it no more. They don't preach it. Amen. Hell is just as real this morning as it was when God made it. It's just as hot. It hasn't been cooled down. That's right. That's right. And heaven is just as real and as sweet as it ever was.
And what is the worst of it? That which allures multitude into it and keeps them in it. Mm. The gate is wide. Yeah. And the way is broad. Mm -hmm. And there are many travelers yes. in that way. Uh -huh. You meet them every day on yeah. your jobs. Yeah. In your communities, sure. in the stores. Sure you do. I mean that you can you can <laughs> Yeah. These things that you got to contend with today, we never had to contend with these things when we was kids. I know that. Amen. Amen. Listen how the world talks to vulgarity. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> you will have on the broad road abundance of liberties. When you're a sinner, there's no restraint. That's true. Amen. You don't even know you're a sinner. No. No. You just fit that along with everything else. Yeah, and you probably broke. Wow. You probably spent all of your money and then you got to borrow $10 to get gas to go work tomorrow. Wow. Why would we have a good time? I'm going to come to church this morning and I'm going to get drunk this morning on the Holy Ghost and I'm going to go home and I'm not going to have to borrow $10 tomorrow to buy gas.
And you know how they race, they set the timing up. You know. <laughs> that was our car. Right. Yeah, they would clean that boat That's out. Right. That's right. You know, false bottom in that boat. They put the quilts in there. Yeah. Put us kids in there. And we went across from the, the east side of the basin over to the west side where Grandma and Grandpa, Mama's Daddy and Mama live. Take us about two or three, four hours to go across over to Kalahua. And we sailed for that two or three days with Grandma and Grandpa, and they put us back in the boat. We come back, he take all that out, and he go run his nets. Uh -huh. That was his truck, yeah. car, and boat. Uh -huh. <laughs> but we come a long way. Church, listen up. We come a long way. We got every modern convenient. You can name it. It's easy to go downstream, go down the current, but when you turn it around, it's hard. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the most will take this course. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see that? My, my. Most of the world that. won't go that way. Yeah. Oh, God. Dear Today, God. we got a breakdown in the home. Yeah. In the families, yes, yes. It, it's causing a breakdown in the school. Yes, yes. But it's also causing yes. a breakdown in, in the, the church. church. Yes, right. Right. That is the truth. My God, my God. I know some of you wasn't blessed to be raised the way I was raised. Oh, I know. I know. Breaks my heart. Yeah. Sometimes I look back and say, "Thank God for mom and dad." They loved us enough yes. to try to shelter yes. us and protect us. Yes. You've heard me probably tell this story. Mm -hmm. My brother was about 16 years old and he came and told Daddy, he said, I'm going riding with Jimmy Herman. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the other good friend of ours, you know. Mm -hmm. Say, we just going to ride. Daddy said, no, you ain't going. <laughs> He said, oh, Dad, but we ain't going to do that. He said, I said, you ain't going. That's how it was. I said, amen. And he could have begged to do that. He wasn't going. That's how it was. Now today, Daddy tells Johnny he can't go. He goes, tell my mama, Daddy upset me, made me angry. He won't let me go. You go ahead. I'll take care of your daddy. Two different messages. <laughs> okay, Jim and him go ride. Yep. Yep. Guess what they done? Mm -hmm. They rustled a calf on the side of the road. What's the big call? Hit a truck. <laughs> Hit Ty's legs. Hello. <laughs> they were speeding and the state trooper stopped them. Yep. Mm. He walked up, you know how to walk up to the back of the car to get your dog. He said, what? What y'all got in that trunk? No. <laughs> he said they got something in there. All in their face. Oh. Pop the trunk and let me see. Guess what? <laughs> they got arrested for cattle rustling. Yeah. Oh my God. One calf. You know what happened? Uh -huh. Three years in Angola. Oh. Oh you know what would have happened if my brother would have been in that car with him? That's right. He'd have been singing that lonely Gilbert song just around <laughs> You see, the multitude goes that away. That's right. But when somebody stopped, my daddy had enough sense. Come on. Something told him not to let him go. And he said, no. Sometimes God has given things in us and he tells us to do things. And we don't know why. Our mercy. That's right. Amen. Amen. Out of my boys was little. They, they only had two friends that I really let them hang around with. And, and so they said, Daddy, we going over to uh, Brian and Timmy's. We going to go over there and play with them. And I don't know, something just come over me. I said, don't y'all go to Miss Webber's to that pool hall. <laughs> That's a bad oh thing. no, we ain't going. <laughs> That's a shame, I give them about an hour and 
I got my truck, and I rode over there. I know you did, that's right. There, the bicycles parked there. <laughs> I walked up in there and said, I thought y'all weren't coming over here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I said, get on in about two miles, three miles, I guess, on the bicycle. I said, y'all get on y'all bicycle. I didn't load them in the truck. I said, y'all ride them on. <laughs> Boy, they was forward the whole yeah, time. They are, right? <laughs> oh, they big. I said, I'm going to give y'all a whipping. It was about four days later for a whipping. Uh -huh. <laughs> I never would whip them right then. I'd let them worry. <laughs> Boy, they, they walked around like this. So. <laughs> I told him and I said, lay on that floor. I took my dad off. I was yeah. right there on the booty oh, two or three yeah. times. Yeah. You know, the first time you thought they was dying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I done killed them. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I didn't have to tell them not to go back over there the second time. Oh, the Lord does us this sometimes. Yes, He'll let you try your weed tongue. He does. He won't he does. stop. No. But he'll say in a small, still voice, don't do that. Don't do it. Uh, uh, if you don't hear do something it. say don't do it, you better stop uh, and back up. Amen. The one the two told that away. I know I got a lot to get to. Oh, God. Dear God. But he talks about, and I'm going to cut, I'm gonna cut all the metal out and leave it in. <laughs> he, he talks about the wise man and the foolish. foolish. Now, if you go to Matthew 25, it talks about the ten virgins, five yeah, wives and yeah, five yeah, yeah, yeah. See, for every positive action, there's a negative and opposite reaction. Sure, right, man. <laughs> That's what causes friction. That's what causes electricity to run. Right, no matter what you try to do, there's going to be opposing force. Always. You need to know Always. that. Always. The devil ain't just picking on you. He just don't like you. <laughs> he don't like you because you don't give your life to Jesus. You give your life to Jesus. And the pain that you're facing is not because you're doing anything wrong. It's because you're doing things right. For years, preacher said, if this has happened to you, there's got to be sin in the camp somewhere. That's right. Amen. Then Christ comes in with the power of 
Holy Spirit and gives you the strength to stand up and be an overcomer. And then sometimes in your infancy, as a Christian, you will fail. You will just fall down. Amen. Then you will know that your hope has to be in God and God alone. You know, some people are too good to get saved. Yes, yeah, true. They don't. They don't think they need a savior because they do everything good in their own eyes. I know. Amen. But the Bible said there's none good, no, not one. The only good one was Christ. Amen. The only good one is the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Many never mind this. It is the furthest thing from their thoughts. They are feeling for this world. For this world, yep. As if they were to be here always. Well, we're all oh my. You know, I've never seen a U-Haul trail behind a hearse. Oh, no. No. Well, we act like we've taken everything with us. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Take it off of this thing. <laughs> All who take upon them a profession of Christianity profess to inquire. They must search. See, that scripture in, in Matthew 11, 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Christ is our lesson yes, that we must study. Oh, yes. And the only way you can really study it, the great teacher of that lesson, is the Holy Ghost. Yes. That's why you need the Spirit of God, the anointing to open your mind and your heart to the Word of God. That when I preach the Word, the Holy Ghost will take that Word, bring it into your soul, and knit it to the fabric of your spiritual being. Oh no, it takes a lifetime. Oh, it takes a lot. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 You take that little grandson like that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> he lives right now to be served. If they don't feed him, if they don't give him more, if they don't love him, if they don't change him, if they take that baby and put him in a bed and never touch him, he'll be an invalid. Yeah. When we accept Christ, we become oh. a baby. Yes. We become yes. a children. Yes. Whom the Bible said we gotta take the milk of the word. Uh -huh. Put a little eyedropper in. Open <laughs> that one. <laughs> Two or three drops. Get some of that spiritual milk. That's right. After a while, she'll have a bottle in there. Uh -huh. After a while, she won't want that. She won't stay in the table.
might fell a thousand times before we right. get to do them. Okay, amen. amen. I'd rather see people with brute knees <laughs> for falling down and keep getting back up one day. We ain't going to fall on that. One day you're going to get up and stand on your feet like a little baby. And you're going to have to walk on me. Whosoever hid these sins of mine and do it them, I will lock at him until the last thing. Hallelujah. That there is a remnant mm -hmm. who by hearing and doing the sayings of Christ build their hopes upon the Oh, we do. Yeah, we do. Amen. What have I achieved if I have preached to you and the world oh, and I don't right. go to heaven myself? Oh, oh think about That's that. That's the scariest thing in the world for yes. me. Yes. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Amen. Because I want to go to heaven as much as I want to get you to. <laughs> That's right. I do. I want to start going on the first level. <laughs> Not the second train. Don't take the chance the second level. They got preachers saying they're going to wait here for the second level. I ain't. I don't know. Amen. You said you might be a little greedy. You're right. <laughs> I'm not standing behind. I'm, I'm oh, glad I'm going no, to go. Those who from Christ who make it their constant care to conform to all the rules of His holy religion and their depend entirely upon Him for assistance. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I give you cold people a break. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got the heaters and the freezers. <laughs> and I find myself in both of them. <laughs> but the assistance. Yes. Sally, God has to assist us in this profession. Sure, amen. He got to help us uh -huh. through the distractions and the hindrances that Satan come to hinder yeah, us. Yes, there he is. Amen. Amen, amen. We need his assistance in this hope, in this building process. <laughs> Don't we? Amen. The Bible said, Whosoever hear these sins about him, doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man that builds his house oh, upon a rock. Something. Building upon a rock requires care and great pain. Yeah. They that would make their calling and election sure must give diligence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are wise builders who build, who <laughs> begin to build so as they may be able to finish and a <laughs> firm foundation. That's the key. Amen. Because you know what? Amen. The storms of life is coming to both houses. Amen. Yes, they will. They will. The storm will not exempt you from being a Christian. And that tells us in these few right. verses right here. The wise man built his house upon a rock. Yeah. And what happened when he got it built? Uh -huh. Then the rains came. <coughs> and the winds blew. A hurricane, a storm yeah. came upon his experience. Yes. Yes. The storm came to test. His faith and his perseverance. Yep. Yes, Amen. He come to test his fortitude. Yep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It'll come. Amen. We need tests. We don't like them, but we got to have them as Christians because that's what strengthens our faith. Amen. I'm trying to hurry. The wise man got his house built on the rock. Mm -hmm. The foolish man, he just went out there, dumped a load of lumber, he nailed them up, and he <laughs> built it right on the sandbar. <laughs> See, I was raised on the river. Sandbars move. <laughs> sandbars change position. Uh -huh. Everything is dictated and fishing by the water. Good water, good fishing. Bad water, bad fishing. See, good water, good Holy Ghost water, good fishing. Right? Good living. Right? Polluted water, bad for you. It's no good for you. It smells bad. Sometime in the middle of the summertime, a 
when it's 110 degrees and them water lilies and the water's bad, you almost need a clothespin to put on your nose to run down the river. But both of them built. They got their house built. They comfortable. They think they secure. Everything is going good. Woo! Boy, I just got me a job. Man, I'm tripling my salary. I'm going to tear that boy down building a big one. I'm going to get rid of that 2010. God, God, get me a 2018. I'm going to trade my wife at 60 for two thirties. your roots yeah. in Christ oh, Jesus. Yeah. Those roots will hold you. Yeah. They will give you the strength in the storm. It will keep you. Yeah. It will. It will. It will. Amen. Well, let's see what it says about the foolish man. Mm -hmm. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand and the rain descended. Yes. See the very identical mm -hmm. storm. Mm -hmm. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell. Damn. It fell him in the time of the storm. Mm -hmm. Not only did it fail him, everybody who was in that house was lost. Yeah. But everybody in the other house was saved. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. That there is a storm coming that will try what our oh, hope of Potomac. Um, the storm will test our love for Him, our yeah. relationship with Him. The rain and the floods and the wind will beat upon the house. The trials and sometimes in this world with tribulation and persecution rise, but because of the word, then it will be seen who only hear the word and who heard and practice it. Then everything will fail us, these hopes, and then if ever they will be turned into everlasting fruit. God's hunting for fruit. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That those hope which are built upon Christ, the rock will stand and will stand the builder instead when the yes. storms come. Yes. His comforts will not fail. They will be his strength and song. Ah, As an anchor yeah. of the soul, sure and steadfast, when he comes when he to the last Amen. encounter, Amen. those hope will take off the terror of death and of the grave and will be approved and we will be approved by the judge will stand the test of the great day and when the crown of endless glory My and those hopes which foolish builders ground upon anything but Christ will certainly fail them on the stone. My. My. He shall lean upon his house but it shall not stand. Whose hope shall be cut off? Whose trust shall be a spider's web? He shall lean upon his house, but it shall not stand. Talking about the sinner man. It shall not hold fast, but it shall not endure. It fell 
in the storm when the builder had most need for it. That's right. And oh. he expected it to stay. My God. My we used to say this song. The children's songs. The wise man built his house upon the Lord. The flood came down and the rains came up. I don't remember how it all goes. But that wise man, you're a wise people. Wise because you choose. You chose to let the Christ. That's the difference. Amen. Amen. Be the Lord of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You said, Lord, I'm going to live for you. Yes. I'm going to serve you. Yes, yes. But you need to know Thank you. Thank that you. darkness, mm -hmm. that darkness is going to oppose that. Yes. When you go on them jobs, oh. you men that have to work on. Oh. When you go on these jobs, the devil knows. Yes, sir. I said the devil yes, knows. He does. And you got to be careful. That's you got to right. put that that foot down on that I, rock I, I and you gotta get ready because it's gonna come after you. It's gonna come. Right? It's gonna be it's it's real. You're gonna be tempted. You're gonna yeah. be tired. Yeah. You're gonna be tempted. Yes. And most of the time, it's in the darkest hour when you feel the oh, worst. Yes. Yeah. 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 Amen. And that's your weakest time. Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wasn't even a preacher back then when I worked at Exxon. But because I brought my Bible and I'd read my scriptures and I'd witness to them, I don't know how they did it, but one day they broke into my locker and took a, a centerfold out of Playboy and pasted it in the door of my locker. And I can tell you something, my religion didn't stand me that day. Hadn't <laughs> grown yet. I had righteous indignation. I hadn't grown up yet. I almost did like Samson. Took that job on and killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Thousands of them. And back then I could do it. Yeah. <laughs> but I did and I told him what I thought about him. About it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? They never did it again. No, they didn't. Right. Mm -hmm. they your Sometimes you just got to take yeah. a stand. That's and right. it's not right. easy. It's not easy. But this man, this wise man, all God's people are wise. Yeah. yeah. Amen. You know, I know the politics, you know, put us in that basket of deplorables. <laughs> uh, I'm glad to be a deplorable. <laughs> yes. I don't care. Huh? Oh, yeah. Don't care. I'm glad to be a reject of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm an exception in the kingdom of heaven. Rich man Lazarus, he gave the angels came and got Lazarus. Yes. 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 Amen. When I get ready, and I need the smoke. That's all, yeah. We're going to have a plane air ride. Amen. Yes. Aren't you excited to go? I am. I am. You can leave this world. You can leave it to the joy of heaven. Would you stand with me in the sky? Brother John, when you come, let's sing that old song.